Hello everybody. Now, so today is a pretty special episode. And basically, I'll be right back. No Ramso here. Alright, today is a pretty special episode because if you didn't know there's a certain furry fan version of Jurassic Park, you're gonna they're releasing um new toys. Based off of the 90 free toys. Such as uh uh <laughs> And other ones like the demon, I, actually the demon cartridge, but not the demon. You know, I have I have more stuff back there, but I have like a bunch of the ninety three toys, classics, for whatever Lost World wants to have a few of those. But you may know that there is one very popular one, T Rex. So when they were thinking about may, make it, kind of doing their own version of ninety three stuff, hang on, let me see what it looks like with the light off. All right, we're keeping that light on. First thing I bet they thought of was the T-Rex, since it's the most popular one, and all the kids went crazy for it back in the 90s, which is the worst time. Okay, I can't pull it to you. All right, let me just get. Hang on, I'm I, I'm still not sure about the light. We'll we'll figure it out later, but but yes, that is correct. They made a new version, sort you know, of this, based off of this, and. Yes, that means it's finally a rubber dinosaur. Incoming! <laughs> Here it is. The 93 classic uh, Jurassic Park 30th anniversary Tyrannosaurus Rex. Electronic real feel. Look at how much the box looks like the 93 classic. I don't have the box, but... I ended up having four of these guys, but now I only have one. Ow. Anyway, probably because I kept breaking them out here, but basically, this is the new version. And it's very awesome. Now, I think you should get this. Out of the four different ones that they're releasing for the 30th anniversary, I'd recommend this one, okay? And we're, now let's, before we actually open it and showcase it, Let's get to looking inside the box. Oh my gosh. You will not believe what I saw. I saw a wee wee. Alright, I'm just kidding. Alright, but let's look at the box, okay? Now, they, since it's the 93 Classic ones, they decided, let's go ahead and make the box 93 Classic thing. So I'm going to tell the old one. Oh, and by the way, we'll get more 93 Classic toys soon. And I'll unbox those too. But this is the first one. You know, it's pretty expensive, so I'm probably going to have to wait a little bit to get the other ones, but it will, I'll probably get one more this month, or at least next month, I might get the, the rest or something. Ugh, anyway, we'll find out. But, let's take a look at the box. Now, as you can see, the front box um, has the very cool background, you know, that the old ones have, where it's like, the trees, <laughs> they also have the red background, you know, sky yellow kind of too and they have the gate how amazing is that and and like i i mean still like i think the 93 classic boxes were better and you'll see why once i show you the back of the box but it, it, still they're trying their best i think it's pretty good okay although there's one thing that kind of disappoints me and that's when we move back to the box. as you can see you know it's based, since it's the 93 Classic, one thing on a minute, the light, I, I should probably just do this for a second, or not, I'm not gonna go, oh yeah, I'm green, so I'm probably disappearing right now. The green screen is kind of bad, because of the lighting, is weird, so that's why I need to fix it, because you might see random green po stuff popping up, so, you might see one right now, right now, anyway. So, the back of the box is supposed to be based off like the old one, so as you can see, it's supposed to be kind of like the diorama ones that they had before. <sighs> but the problem is, uh, if you can see, they just kind of took an image and and put it behind the, an image of the T-Rex. They could have. That's the only thing that disappoints me. They could have had the actual diorama, but well, I mean, it still looks cool. But oh, and if you read this out, it says Tyrannosaurus Rex. <laughs> Tyrannosaurio Rex. Tyrannosaurio Rex. T-Tyrannos... 
sorry, Rex. And um, it's kind of funny. But um, another thing that's pretty great going on is that um, look down here. It showcases the other ones, similar to the old Kenner things, where they show like all of them, which Mattel doesn't really do. They kind of showcase, I believe, three, two. I forgot how much they they, they showcase stuff for the back, but. This is awesome, because I like having the stuff at the back of the box, and it and like the images themselves just look like something straight up from the 90s. The 90s. But, enough of that. We checked out the box for about like a, almost 10 minutes, so I think we should, I think we should get ready to open it. Hang on a minute. In order to open a toy like this, we're going to need only one thing. I'll be right back. Yeah, that's right, guys. The return of the murder weapon of the century. I need to find him. Yes. Murder weapon of the century. Come here. My child. It's the murder weapon of the century. I bet you weren't expecting him to be here. I'm just kidding. I'm mad. Uh, it actually kind of looks like it. I noticed that in the last episode when I did that. It looks like an actual. Anyway. All right. That's the first one. Luckily, it's super easy to get these out. I swear, if they make us have to go under the box in order to do the rest. Ah, they're making us go under the box to do the rest. How do I even do it? Hey, oh yeah, Mattel's doing this now, so it's better. Look, you could, they're listening to the fan. Hang on a minute. So it's like easier to do that, sort of. Hang on, this is actually kind of hard for my itty widow finger. I have a bigger finger now. You do realize I'm almost taller than my parents, and they're pretty tall. Anyway. Ah, ow, my thongy. Alright. There we go. Hang on a minute. I'll see you in a sec. I got the stuff out. It took a little bit of hurt my thingy. But, we can take it out in three, two, one. Oh my god. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Let me get that box out of the way. I'm going to keep that box. Look at that. My gosh, Mattel. I'd say this is the best TRX they've ever made. Although the Hammock Collection TRX is also really good. But this one, I feel like this one's just probably my favorite. Anyway, enough of taking, you know, just, you know, I, let me just do like a quick spin and then we'll actually analyze the full toy. But, my gosh, I'll also, I'll, I'll compare it, I'll compare it, I'll, I'll compare it to the other one, that, you know, the old one. Anyway, so now, let's actually review this one, okay? Let's, let's, let's show, let's show this different stuff about this, alright? So now, since this is, you know, based off of the old T-Rex, what was that? All right, now let's continue on. I needed a pause for that. Anyway, so now let's get to reviewing this, okay? So since it's based off the old thingy bob, it's obviously rubber, you know, similar to the, the other one. But, um, actually, hang on a minute. Hang on. What's in the toy? What's in the tail? I don't know. Anyway, but man, this is super cool. I, I remember when they first showcased this one, I was so excited. I was like, oh my God, I now I have it. Oh, and look, you can put stuff down its throat, and it eats it. So it's like a mixture of the Red Rex and the Bull Rex, which I pointed up there because that's that's where I have it right now. Oh, no, he's going to eat me. Anyway, so, let, I'm just, I'll be, hang on. Uh, like on the box, I'm going to put some small dinos down its mouth. I'm going to only take one right now. Uh... Where's, okay, this is, I think this is the one they showed in the picture. This, this little Triceratops guy. I'm gonna force him down his throat. Ready? This is the first feature we're gonna showcase, and then we'll show his other stuff. So let's, let's do it. Ready? Three, two, one. Uh, oh, uh, <laughs> nope, and he ate it. Yes. Hang on. And now, watch this. It's in its belly! now I have to get it out of its belly. 
Oh god, I'm in it. Hang on. I feel like this is actually way too small of a, like, a opening thing, because it's, like, very hard to actually open up its stomach and do surgery on it to get the baby dinosaur out. I mean, you could just, I guess you could just, like, make it throw it out. Throw it up out, okay. Well, throw it up, alright. If you have a hard time getting it out of there, use, use, it, you just make it so it pukes it up, alright. Uh, but I mean, it's honestly a cool feature. It's just that, like, I wish, like, I'll, I'll compare it in a, vi in, in, in a second, but, like, I'm guessing this is smaller than the actual one, but if they made it bigger, they could have actually made it so you could put, like, maybe even, like, Raptor in it. I mean, that probably won't work, but still, I wish, like, <laughs> I wish it was easier to get it out. Anyway, but, pretty cool. I'll just, I'll just keep it in the stomach the entire video, so, that's not, you know, I'm just gonna do that. Oh, and the, uh, now, now I'm going to showcase some of the movements, and then we'll check check out the next thing. Alright, so first up, um, Nom, it opens its jaw and closes its jaw. His name is Mr. McMaw. <laughs> uh, um, <laughs> anyway, but he's just kind of, you know, like a chill, he's a chill sonic tonic, okay? He's just a chill sonic tonic. I farted. But, you may have noticed that there's these little holes here on his bottom, which usually means sounds. Yes, sounds. Sounds. And you know what this means? Yep, there's sound effects. And we'll showcase the sound effects in a sec. I just wanted to show you that the tail, I'm not sure if there's a wire in it, but it's, I think it's, there's a wire in it, yeah, or, yeah, a little, yeah, a little bit of a wire, it's actually, it's, it's super cool, I, why is it so cool, uh, <laughs> anyway, um, and also I just want to mention that I really am happy that you could do this, er, er, er. <laughs> cause that means you could do, like, a lot of movements, <laughs> similar to the old one, anyway, now, one last showcase, and then I'll also show you where the, is there scan code on it? Hang on a minute. Oh, I see where they put the scan code. That's pretty smart, actually. All right. So let me just show you a scan code before we do this last feature. E the box fell over. All right. So you have the scan code. Hopefully it's bright, bright enough to scan. I got a poop so bad. We got to finish this video. Uh, oh, God. Ooh. All right. <laughs> Alright, but yeah, that's the scan code. Pretty smart since there's not really anywhere to put it. Because it's rubber, so it's like, it's like, Arr. Also, I feel like they could have also made the mouth rubber too, but I guess I'm, at least that gave them, like, like I'm fine with that because they got to at least do this. Although, at the same time, I kind of wish they did that. Anyway. Now, time for... The last feature. Uh, you know what'd be funny, guys, is if in the rest of this, I mean, in the rest of this video, I'm just gonna act like Nikocado Avocado. If if something falls, okay. If anything falls, I will literally act like Nikocado Avocado. So basically, as you can see, um, on on its back, you have a button that when you press, it makes sounds. Watch this. See? So it's, I really like that. Yeah. It's actually... I'm so... I'm so, I'm so glad they added sounds, because the old one had sounds. And it's pretty similar to, like, the actual... Like, the older one, too. I mean, like, the older one, you do have to squish this part in order to make sounds, but this one, it's similar, although it's on its back. And then he'll go like... Oh, well, guys, watch out. That, that, that was more of a common hour. Anyway, now that we finished looking at all of the features, time to... <laughs> anyway, let's showcase them side by side, you know, side by side. My grammar's kind of weird, okay? 
the old one and the new one. And get the scissor out of the way before like we mur we murder everyone. And that time it did not drop. Okay, I put that on the floor. Here we go. Time to have finally si put them side by side. At least this is the first time I've seen it. Three, two, one. Whoa. Oh, wow. All right. So, immediately I noticed that the size yeah, is kind of different, you know. Pretty big. This one's pretty bigger. All right. But I'm kind of glad that it's this small. It's kind of a nice size. But another thing is that you might notice is that the red is more red. And this one is kind of more like a very dark pink kind of red thing. Also... Those are the sounds on this. This is so old that it's doing that. But as you can see, this one, it does, you know, has like that. That's why I kind of wish I could do this on this one and have it open, but it doesn't. But you can do it on this one. The other's arms, or the other legs, or the tail, which is bendy. But you have like a bunch, you know, so it's just all rubber. But I'd say, you might hate me for this, but I think I... I might actually maybe like this one more than this one. Okay, I think this one's still better, but at least this is almost as better, like better than this one. It's like like so close to beating it. But I just I think the only thing that just makes this one better is that I don't know. It's like you know '90s. Like, it's by Kenner. Okay, Kenner makes great stuff. Okay. Oh wait a minute, they could have done this too. Or any Oh, it broke the. <laughs> Where you when you stomp it, it makes a sound. They could have done that, but they decided not to. But at least that's okay. And yeah, so that's kind of a small side by side thing. But as you can see, they're pretty similar. This one's kind of like this one's more red, smaller, and it's like a Mattel style. Okay, so it's kind of different, but also at the same time, not. It's pretty similar. So. That actually reminds me, didn't the Gaming Beaver have, like, a video where he, like, showcased, like, a fan-made, you know, thingy mabob of, like, the thing? And now it's actually a thing so that you can buy, so, uh, uh alright. Anyway, that was basically it for today's video of the 30th, first 30th anniversary, twice. stay tuned for more. Now, I might, even though, like, I feel like, like, I, I guess I'll do this, but I'll probably start... Like, I'll probably start, you know, start with the bigger ones, and then make our way, to, like, and then, like, the last ones will be the smaller dinosaurs, so. Like, I mean, I feel like it would make sense if I start with the smaller ones and went up to the bigger one, but, I mean, this one's just too exciting that I feel like now I have to make it so, like, the next one I review is this one. The one the, the second most expensive one, the car and the Scootosaurus, I think that's called. Which, oh my gosh, I cannot tell if that's actually the one from Kenner, or if that's, like, a newer version. Anyway. And then we'll probably do this one next, like after that, and then the, the Alan Grant one. And then we'll, go, we'll be complete. But, oh, I'm so excited for those ones. Oh, and then it'll be so cool. But, yeah, I'm 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 actually so happy that Mattel did this. I want, I wish they had made more, but also I'm at this, at the same time, I'm kind of like, oh, I think it's a pretty good amount. But, anyway, that was it for today's video. Hang on, let me just, let me just sneakily get this guy back here. <laughs> there we go. Now he's sneakily back there, just like, oh, what about me? Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. And stay tuned for more unboxing of the 90s stuff. Goodbye! <laughs>